Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, I will be solving one of the most important question of PySpark or we can say of Databricks, which was asked in one of the uh, one of the MNC. Okay, so the question is that we are giving a uh, one notebook. Okay, and here we are having a multiple multiple data frames let's say you know we are having df data frame student under underscore df data frame and may, maybe you know some 10 to 15 data frames right now the ask is that we need to find out all the data frame present in this spark session or in this notebook okay and second thing is we need to display all the data frames also okay so i would request if you are solving this question please stop this video and try by yourself okay and then if you are not getting the answer then you will watch this video okay so apart from this i would like to introduce my course okay so there is an offer is running uh, on this course build azure end-to-end -end project with real-time scenarios you can apply promo code GET10 to get 10% discount and it will be valid for only two days or next two days. Okay. And it is only valid for 20 students, not more than that. Okay. And the duration is 14 plus hours. If you, if you click here on this button register now, you will get a table of content and every detail of this project course already more than 700 students have taken this course and they found it useful so i would suggest if you are planning for an interview or if you do not have any hands-on on the azure uh, stuff then please take this course now let's see how we can solve this problem so in python we have one uh, function the call, I mean, it is called globals. Okay, so Python global function is a built in function in Python that returns the dictionary of the current global symbol table. So now let's understand what does it mean, right? So symbol table is a symbol table is a data structure that contain all necessary information about the program. These include variable names, method, classes, etc. The global symbol table is stored all information related to the program's global scope and is accessed in python using the global method okay so suppose in one of the notebook in one of the python program if we are making some variable class object or uh, what we have uh, yeah functions and also right so all these things are stored in this in this uh, uh, global symbol table and if you want to fetch those records or those informations then we can use this global method okay right so what i'll do quickly i'll just write here print globals and let's run this you will you will see over here that we are having uh, something like this okay we are having something like this See, we, are, we, we can see here some data frames and uh, so, so, so stuff, right? So, so stuff we are having. Now, global function returns a dictionary. So, if you already know Python, that's the reason I am I was, you know, saying to you guys that you should know Python before learning a PySpark or to become a data engineer, right? So, I will, what I'll do, I'll just write this like this. One minute. I can write items. And let me run this okay now it is converted into a dictionary okay so what i'll do i'll write here k comma v in global items like this and now it will return key and value i mean key separate and value separate okay into the dictionary from the dictionary i would say and then i'll write here k so if i do this you will see we are having all the all the keys okay so you can see we have student underscore df data frame we have data frame also and then we have kv we have df the data frame which we had created right so we have everything now now what i want to know see you can see over here that we are having multiple multiple uh, variable names or we can say a uh, object name we are getting right but I need to find out what are the data frame. So maybe someone has created a data frame with name underscore IH. Could be. Okay, someone has created a data frame with out. Right. So we need to understand 
right so there is a method or we can say use pyspark dot sql import data frame okay now if you know about the type or is instance method right so first i will go with the type method so if i write here type type of uh, v okay so this is the key variable name and v is the value so i am going with v and i am saying ki check if v is a data frame or not what is the type of v okay and then i'll just print here let's say k that would be or uh, let's run this you can see i got this df and student underscore df data frame see if you do not know what does type uh, does right so suppose i am writing here type of a so what is the type of a what is a a is a string over here a character right so if i run this you will see we are having a string suppose if i am writing like this it will return a integer if i do this it will return a float right so this is the uh, uh, you know this is the uh, use of type so the first question was you know i need to find out those uh, those data frames right the data frames of across or you know present in this data uh, in this notebook or maybe you know in this spark session right now i need to print it also so i'll just quickly here do display of v boom correct now there is a separate way a different way control a control c put it into a new location like this and here i can remove everything and i can use this method is instance this is predefined method okay and here first i will type k okay, right uh, no v okay v and comma what is the instance i want to match it so i am saying ki v should be should be a data frame and then if i run this it will give me a same output so either you can go with is instance or either you can go with the uh, or, or or you can go with the type both are same so the main idea to tell you about i mean this question can be asked in other companies also right so if you are making see making a project or just learning about the shuffling concept or sorting concept or maybe some x y z concepts is are required okay but all these things are also required so if you do not know python if you do not know python you will you may not solve this problem okay hence python is very compulsory to become a azure data engineer to become a perfect azure data engineer i would say okay so i hope that okay you got this uh, idea and please go and take this course if you haven't this is a wonderful course i have made and i have put my four years ka experience in this course the one which i have worked in my ex company my past company the same scenario i have built and i have you know shown you in this project so choice is yours if you want to build your career in azure data engineer take it otherwise no worries i will be uh, publishing more videos like this on my youtube channel Thank you bye bye